Welcome back to AFK Journey, folks. We've got some stuff we've been checking out. So, for example, one thing people have pointed out is there's this merchant dude over here in Holliston that we can go ahead and talk to. Oh, and I unlock things for spending here. So what's worth buying? This guy's giving us just level up materials. Is it worth just buying level up materials? Yeah, I think we'll just purchase that. Oh, sold out. Okay, so I have to buy at least one piece of equipment because I need to unlock these later ones. Yeah, this makes sense. So I'll just get this chest piece for warriors. And there we go. Now we can unlock the rest of the stuff. So we'll buy books. Oh, what? It, it won't let me unlock stuff. So now I have to buy another piece of armor. That's a bit annoying. And then we'll just keep going. Get myself some A tiers from here. That's actually really helpful. And I think we're not going to buy equipment. Equipment seems like a big scam. And he said the level 85 gear is actually good. Yeah, but we'll eventually unlock better gear, right? So that seems bad. Like, yeah, look, here, look. <laughs> There's way better gear later down the line. Although with all that stuff, we can level up our heroes, which is pretty cool. And oh, well, there we go. We got some stuff for this, which is more level up stuff. On top of that, we were looking at the arena store and realized this has a 30 day refresh and a limit of two. And we're almost up here for being able to buy something. So that's going to be a good way of turboing Cecia copies out early because she's basically carrying us through the beginning of the game, which is pretty neat. And after that, there's a large variety of heroes we can choose to focus depending on where we want to take the team. We could go with Hewan for healing, Rowan for more energy feed. We could even bring in people like Granny or Igor if we want to change our strategy. So lots of cool options here. And Dream Store as well. We can buy some A tiers if we ever need to. Probably going to prioritize Odie here to get more dream stuff and get that to pay for itself by returning in dividends here. But also Coco is a hugely tempting option because as soon as I get Smokey, I can then run Smokey and Coco together. So on the topic of getting an S tier like Smokey, we should probably go ahead and do some summons and see if we can lock out. So one thing people have been mentioning in the comments and encouraging me to do in our Discord is to keep just spending on summons to get the Stargaze Station unlocked. Now we can track how many summons we've done in the Mystic Collection by going and taking a look at the Covenant letter. And yeah, if we get to 400, we'll unlock the Stargazing Station. And it means we can buy Stellar Crystals from the Recruitment Store, which I think is something we definitely want to get. So the sooner we've done that, the sooner we can start buying those Stargazing Crystals. And that to me sounds pretty good. If it's anything like Idol Heroes, getting Cores of Transcendence available to you as early as possible isn't a bad thing. So we're going to go into the All Recruit and we're just going to turbo out as many of these as we can to get ourselves as much summons as possible. So let's go. Either way, we've got a 10 to do here. Hopefully we'll high roll. Will we get an S tier, boys? Come on, fingers crossed. Nope, we got an A tier. Hopefully it's someone we need. Let's enjoy the oh, Lysa. I like Lysa. You know what? That's pretty cool. And let's go ahead and spend some more diamonds. What are we going to get? Another S tier, maybe? Nope. We got an A tier again. Time, but it's Coco! Let's freaking go. I love Coco. Her healing, damage reduction buffs, it's all really good. Go on, let's buy some more, boys. What are we going to pull? Four eighties! That's huge! <laughs> OD! Nice! Can a new soul be a Nero, okay, okay. What are you hunting? We Give got Marily. Let's stand and fight together. And Corin. You know what? That's pretty good. Come on, please be the S tier we want. Oh no, but it's two A tiers. I'll take that. Another Coco. That's very good. And Vipe. Sweet. Now, thanks to that second copy of Coco, we can now take Coco to Epic Plus, which is awesome because getting another Epic Plus hero means now our resonance power is 67. We can go ahead and unlock the next stage in Arcane Labyrinth. We've got difficulty three. So we'll definitely be doing that today. But yeah, if we do five more summons, we're guaranteed an S tier. Here we go. We're guaranteed an S tier anyway. Imagine we get two. That'd be nice. We definitely got one. Now, oh, who is it? Another one! Another Aaron! The game just won't stop giving me copies. <laughs> What's that, our third Aaron now? And we got Corrin as well. Oh, wow. And now it's trying to sell me an Aaron copy? Go away. Stop trying to sell me hero copies. I've got 4,000. So I could do another 10 bomb if you wanted. Content, do it. Yes. Oh, go on then. I guess it gets us closer and closer to the Stargate station. Sure thing. What else am I going to spend diamonds on, hey? Here we go. Please be an S. No, it's an A tier. What do we get, though? 
Oh, another Vibe. Cool. With the enhancements to our team, let's go throw ourselves in and see if we can get some more AFK stages beat. So at the moment, I've been losing Lysa. She's been really good for buffing our team, but I could totally swap her out for Vipe if I wanted to. For now, I'll just use Lysa and see if that's good enough for the battle. Here we go. Okay, Thorin goes. I think he's going to die here. Yeah, he's down. Okay, he's resurrected. There we go. CC with us, summon. Nice. Beautiful teamwork there. Good healing from Hewan. Bang. Nicely done. We killed their CC before she summoned. Right, let's go auto battle and see how far it takes us. All right, we got murked there, guys, by that team. But we managed to push ahead a little bit. Either way, we got that goal here, which was to reach AFK stage 169. So that's good. So yeah, we just got to push the campaign as well. I can't start sleeping on this. So yeah, I'm going to buy ourselves some attempts from Arena. I think that's a good use of diamonds, just so we can get more Arena coins. I think buying daily attempts is a good idea. Should be able to beat Flippity Flappity here. What a great name. He's got double tank on this team. And his only healer is Rowan. Bad team. <laughs> oh my word, look at that. Beautiful. We got here Nah. They look winnable. You know, in my side time, I've been playing honor mode. Really been wrapping my head around the PvP meta. Honor mode is so much fun. Well, victory is I'd love to do an honor run with you guys at some point. So hit that subscribe button. I will be bringing out some honor content soon. Okay, hopefully we beat this guy here. He's got Smokey, though, which is a little annoying. Okay, we killed his Lucius. Why are so many people running Lucius, man? I get that he's a good early tank, but this guy's already got Thorin. <laughs> Where's all this Lucius fanboying coming from? Like, I dropped that guy as fast as I could. Let's go see if that means I can buy anything now. Not quite. I'm not quite enough to buy someone in the arena store, but as soon as reset hits, we will be able to. For now, then, I think we're going to try and upgrade Odie. Oh. I need one more hey, copy here boss. to get him to Epic. Right, so let's get ourselves some more Odie copies. We'll just buy one here. And that means I can oh. take him up. So he's now Epic. And in that case, I want to go and try and fight this boss in Dream Realm to see if we can get some more damage against him. Pretty solid damage coming out here initially, which is nice. Yeah. Really nice. The silence coming out there. Now, who's going to get Snowball? It's still Cecia, which is funny. Okay, we break free. That's nice. Will Cecia get her roll? I think she will, actually. Yep. There we go. Good damage coming out here, too. Solid. Oh, man. Entendra's doing really good for tanking. Right, what I'll do, Cecia keeps getting crowd controlled, and that one hex distance I think is slowing us down. So I think I'm going to try and put everyone on the front line here, as that could really help us. Although we might beat our damage numbers here. Oh yeah, we're looking really good. Hello. At least we break free from the silence there. Oh no, not quite. Right, so I think we have to move everyone to the front line. So that it's easier to break them free. And I'm going to put Cecia in the middle so that everyone's closer to her. So let's try again. Here we go. I don't think we're going to break 70, though. Oh, that's good order. That's good order. Cecia's ult went before Coco. Nice. That's really nice, actually. So we're going to get a lot of damage here. Oh, yeah. Instantly breaking free. Mr. Carlisle's so good for breaking people free. Okay, we've lost on Tondra here. A little annoying. I think we're still going to be fine, though. Here we go. All the ults. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to be all damage here with this one. For sure. Come on. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Five seconds. Come on. Let's go. There we go. New personal best, 63.5. <laughs> okay, now let's, with our final attempt, try your theory. We're going to drop on Tondra for Thorin. Everyone. Okay, Thorin died. He's resurrected at least. Okay, now our ults are popping off. Oh, we're getting close to 50% here. We might actually break this. As long as we don't get too much distraction from snowballs. 55, 56, 57, 58. Uh, I don't think we're going to beat it. No. No, we didn't. 
Either way, I'm not complaining. Top 21% with a damage of 63.5 against the Snow Stompers. Not bad. All right, let's send ourselves into Arcane Labyrinth like I said we would. So our first opponent is going to be Cece. That's fun. And defeating enemies to get Blessing Lump Sum. Gain pure crystals times 50 and stop obtaining pure crystals after defeating enemies. Well, that's a bit annoying. I don't want that. I think that's a low roll getting that early. Ah, oh, well. So great early damage coming out there. Yeah, we've already killed their Igor. And they've got two Cece's. What the heck? Well, they're dead. All right, next one we got ourselves. Okay. Increases attack. Let's get that. Here we go. So this is a Lysa wave as well. Immediate actives coming out there. Great damage, great healing. That's what I love about this game mode. Energy carries over. All right, next stage. Let's go with Vitality Boost. Let's fight. Oh my word, that's beautiful. Look how quickly they're dropping. Nice. No surprise though, obviously. And let's just go with the Blessing Gate. Here we go. Not quite sure what this is going to do, but either way. Let's find out. Got these little flower guys fighting us. Lovely bit of damage coming out there. Wrecked them. Obtain additional relic times one of the same type when defeating enemies. Oh! Oh, that's actually really good then. So we get double amount of relics? Oh, that's neat. Getting that early is quite good. So it just pays dividends. Cool. Right, we've got a mini boss here. And oh yeah, absolutely wrecked. So much crowd control. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Oh, Lysa, did you do the most damage then? No, she did a lot though. She's really, really good. And what have we got here? Restore energy every three seconds for allied whose HP is above 95%. Or restore 50 energy for allied heroes every three seconds. I think energy tide is slightly better as long as we keep our healing up. Yeah. Right, what have we got here? Inflicts fright on all enemies for three seconds when an enemy hero is defeated. Oh, that's quite good. Allied heroes can absorb 15 energy with their normal attacks. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's just go with energy. The more ults we get, the better. We just want to go all for the ults. I w why would you be a whale early on in this game? They're only going to release more heroes and add some power creep, which renders everything you've spent money on useless. And also, everyone's still learning, so... The options available to us to buy are not going to be great value. It's just trying to get you early on, which I find very funny. All right, we got to choose something else now. Based on an ally's max HP, their attack has increased 1%. I think we go with Titanic Might. Defeat at least two enemies within 15 seconds. That should be easy enough. That should be a fine challenge. And that's going to lower the price of Fitz's shop. Well, I'm pretty sure we did it. There we go. Let's go Fitz's store. Let's see what he's offering. So we definitely want to get the Vanquish Relic. That gets us another crest. Allied heroes can stun their target for two seconds when they deal a critical strike. For every wilder hero deployed, increase allied heroes' attack, physical defense, and magic defense. Okay, that's quite good with what we have. Yeah, we'll go with that one, the wilder bow. Because we have two wilders on the team or three? No, we have three wilders. Yes, that's really good. Let's get our random relic from here. Uh, we'll go with swift blade. Because then we can get this swift blade here. And that gives us another crest. Increases all allies' maxed HP by 100% and fully recovers their HP when the battle starts, but they cannot recover HP during the battle. Oh. Oh, no. I don't like that. I think we go with the freezing warning. Stuns each enemy for three seconds where their energy is more than 500 for the first time. Yeah, I think we just go with that. All right, we got a Muriel wave. Here we are. Should be able to take this down pretty quickly. Yep. Nicely done. Each allied hero gains a shield equal to 30% of their max HP when entering the enemy side of the battlefield for the first time. Or we can increase the duration of control effects by 20%, which I think is the best choice here. I really like this game mode. The progressive buffs just make you feel like your team's just getting crazy. Chippy is here. Oh no, an acorn knight will join you in every battle as a temporary reinforcement. If an acorn mage is fighting the combat, the acorn knight will instantly defeat all targets other than the boss. That's so- that, that can't be good. That cannot be good. <laughs> Fine. Let's bring Chippy to the fight. This sounds so dumb. Oh god, is there seven people on the field now because of Mr. Carlisle as well? Oh my word. And let's go see what Fitz is selling. We can buy two things from here. Okay, well I don't want the resurrection potion. So we'll just get a swift blade. That gets us another crest. 
Double attack speed bonus granted by Swift Braid Relics. Well, that sounds easy enough. Gosh, our attack speed's gonna be crazy here. Let's go fight the boss. Oh, he's a beefy boy. Look at this. Some kind of hypergene nonsense. Let's send it. Pretty sure we're gonna melt this guy. I mean, I can't even see our little guy. Is he in here anywhere? Oh, there he is. He's next to Thorin. I see him. <laughs> oh my word, we are melting this. Our attack speed is wild. And with Lysa as well. We got another crest from here too. For every Graveborn hero deployed, it increases all eyes attack, physical events. Well, we'll get that. We've got Graveborn heroes. An extra five levels. Let's see if we can crush it. Should do really nicely. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It is ridiculous. I love how Aaron groups them together and then Lysa just guns straight through. My word. Wow, it's funny. The only reason their Brutuses are alive is just because they can't be killed. Every sword is a <laughs> oh, the immediate CC there from Mr. Carlisle. Fantastic. Should melt these. Oh, and they're stunned. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. No way. That was brutal. All right, we've got some epic ones now. Allied heroes are immune to damage in the first 25 seconds of a battle. After this effect ends, allied heroes receive double damage. That's terrible. Allied heroes can deal additional true damage equal to 10% of the target's match HP when they deal a critical strike. This effect can be triggered once for every five seconds. Or double cast. Each allied hero can cast a second ultimate without consuming energy after their first. Oh, is it Undying Rage? Or is it double cast? I think we go with Undying Rage. Well... It's hard to tell if we're doing badly because we are absolutely demolishing them. Yeah, they just melted. Anyway, we'll go again. See what we get from here. Because our energy feed's ridiculous already. Oh my word. Yep. Pretty sure we got him. Oh my word. Thorin's taking a lot of damage here. Well, these guys are tough, but I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Nice. Every sword is a witness. Lice are doing the most damage there, too. Crazy. And okay, we got ourselves another bonus. Grant shield equal to 50% of max HP to all allies when the battle starts. That's nice. Allied heroes have a 50% chance to be immune to control effects and to stun their attacker for one second. This effect triggers every two seconds for each hero. Or when an allied hero's shields are weakened from attacks, their attacker receives true damage equal to 30% of the lost shield value. Hmm. I mean, rebound shield is more attack. I wish we could pick that up with fervent protection. So I think we just get the epic and let's fight this. Here we go. So immediately melting this guy. So we've already killed the boss once. Make that twice. Here we go. Three times. Make that four times. <laughs> oh, good healing. Oh, no! Aaron died. Come on, guys. Oh, my word. We're getting melted now. It's just Thorin and Hewan now. Oh, now it's just Thorin. Oh, there's the resurrect. I mean, we did 2.1 million damage. It's still pretty solid. Right, let's claim our rewards from here. So the last thing we'll do before we push on with the quest is the Legend Trial, where I can go ahead and put Lightbearer heroes in the Tower of Light to see how far we go. So sadly, I don't have any good heroes for the Lightbearer faction. I don't even have Tamesi or anyone like that, so the best we have is the single Rowan copy, and we'll just have to go with A tiers for the rest. So let's give this a try and see how we do. We might want to put Faye in for healing, but for now I'll just send this in. Hopefully this is good enough. 
Yeah, we seem to be doing all right. We've already got Rowan for healing, so that might be enough. Especially with Lucius' shield. Perfect. Just one left now. And they're dead. Next stage, here we go. So this is... <laughs> let's go... What the frick? Chippy's on this team? <laughs> Why? Why is Chippy on this team? <laughs> well, we're doing okay either way. We've killed Granny. And the back line should fall now. Nice. Alright, stage six. Here we go. Is this going to be where we get beaten? They have got us out-leveled. So let's see if this is going to be too much. Okay, we're still alive. We're still alive. That's good. Yep. They're Vala, man. She's jumping all over the place. I think we can kill her, though. Yeah, nice. Okay, stage seven. Here we go. Oh, we're starting to die now. This might be it. Yep, we've lost Valen already. That's it, though. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, they're out healing us. Yep. Yep, I think this is the one. Yeah. They got us beat. Nicely done, though, man. Six floors. In that case, let's go ahead and do some recruits. We have 18 here, so let's pop out. I think let's do 20 of them. I'll top that up with gems. So let's see if we can get an S tier from this. Come on, please get me lucky. Get me some good luck. Oh, it's A tiers. I mean, they still could be good. OD, nice. And a Vipe. That's real good. And let's spend 540 diamonds to do another one. Come on, please, 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 please be good. Oh, we didn't get an S tier, but we did get two A's again. And it's another Vipe and another OD. Okay, sure. Nice. That's quite lucky. So that means if I get two more OD copies, we can level him up to Epic Plus. Which we can absolutely do in the Dream Store. So let's buy two of them. So let's take him up to Epic Plus. Nicely done. If I can get five more, we can make him legendary. So I guess it's about time we carried on with the main quest, because we keep getting distracted by things. So let's push some AFK progress. Then do the quest. Discussing with Captain Laika, who is in charge of eradicating these. Oh, it's Laika. I've been saying Lysa this whole time, and it's Laika, but it's a C. Surely it's a soft sound. Ah. Now I'm annoyed. There we go. We've talked to the Wilder, which completes our growth stage seven quest. So that moves us nicely onto growth stage eight and gives us the final invite letter we need to do a 10 bomb. So let's go to the mystical house and see if we can high roll an S tier. Oh, we're guaranteed to get one. It says nine more to go. Oh yeah, we're going to get this. Here we go, boys. Come on. Which S tier is we going to pull? Can we get more than one? Oh no, we just get one, but who's it going to be? Okay, the A tier is Coco. That's good. So who's the S tier? Be grateful that you oh! Oh, thank you! Another CCer. Fantastic. Go away! Another Ascension bundle! Stop it. Stop trying to sell me things. Because we can get our final CCer copy from Arena. Oh, yes we can. Boom! Let's get her. And with that, that's our fourth copy of CCer. Well, that does mean we can improve her. And that's going to get her to Legendary Plus. Absolutely huge. So now we just need to get it to Mythic. I'm assuming this is worth, right? Should I use these to level up abilities? Yeah, it makes sense. She's, she's our hard carry, so I think we'll upgrade her. Cecia increases her attack speed. Get it to level 2. There you go. Fantastic. Oh, she's going to be a monster now. You can buy some cheap in the Emporium as well. Oh, can I? Oh, you're not wrong. They're now available for sale. Absolutely, let's buy them. Well, I need 20 of them to upgrade her skill again. But we can get more, no problem. Let's see if we can push the AFK stages now that we've got Cecia to a much more powerful level.
And I should supplement it to Mythic, you think? It depends how many of the random items I have. I can have a check, though. Oh, wow. We are dominating here. Yeah, this is crazy. What an improvement. Yeah, our damage is huge now. We have so many diamonds, we could actually do another set of summons. Screw it, we might as well. Let's go. Come on, please give me an S tier. Please, please, please. Oh, three A tiers, I'll take that. We got another Vipe. And we got Corin and Marily. Come on, please give me an S tier. Please, 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 please. Oh, more eighties. Man, why am I so unlucky? Oh, it's our first Arden copy. And a Marily. Oh, I've got like 105 Omni Acorns. Oh, yeah, sure, we're doing this. You desire an audience. Look at those stat increases as well. Yeah, they're huge. Let's get this. Being a noble is always being on top. So there you go. She's now mythic. Now I need two more to get her to mythic plus. We should just melt through these. I mean, look how strong we are now. This is ridiculous. Mr. Carlisle is absolutely brutal. Mythic as well. I I'm loving that we got Mythic on Cecia. This is crazy. We are shredding, man. <laughs> look at him melt. <laughs> oh, man. Beautiful. Okay, we've got a solo crucible now where they're immune to physical damage. So we know CCO is no good here. So we're just going to have to use Aaron and hope he's good enough. Let's see. Because we know he does magic damage. Oh yeah, that's good. Perfect. There we go. We got him. Perfect. There we go. He got this. Nice. Oh, this is clever. This reminds me of... There's a mission in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. It's one of the gyms. Where all the floor is ice and you have to cover every single tile. But if you go on a tile a second time, you then fall through the ground. Okay, we've got a level 71 Hyper Fiend here. Let's see if we can beat this. I think we're going to be okay. Ooh, they've got Vala. Hmm. I don't mind them focusing Lyca. That should be okay. Yeah, we're fine here. Damage is still really good. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, we're in the Bizarre Labyrinth now. And it says we need to exit the Labyrinth to push this forwards. So that sounds like the quest we need to do. Oh, level 81? Whoa, okay. Right, that's a bit of a jump. I don't think we've faced any overworld things this strong. I got this. I think we're fine, yeah. Oh, mate, yeah, Mr. Carlisle's murking them. Woo! All right, we've got another level 81 here. These are all guarding this red chest. Ooh. With flamethrowers as well? That's exciting. Oh, yeah. We're doing good here. Take advantage of Thorin's Resurrect as well. Yeah, we're good. Huge. Just one more and we're good. Elite challenge. Let's see how tough this one's going to be. Haven't killed us yet. Oh, Thorin's taking a lot, though. Okay. We're good, we're good. Oh, now it's happening. Hewan with the heals. Lyca with the active. Aaron's dead, which is a shame. Finally, we managed to kill their Rowan. I think we got him, though. Oh, this this freaking girl. She's really hard to kill. Come on. 
Cecia finally gets a roll off. Come on, kill him. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Stop healing! Oh my word! Bro! What? Right, let's try that again. Hopefully we don't get trolled again. We are gonna have to wall up, maybe. Oh, good human with the heals. Come on. Don't die, Aaron. Oh, Thorin's dead. Come on. Go! 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 Come on! What the hell? Lyca just threw. Oh, yes! Come on! Go! There it is, Mr. Carlisle. Showing a moose boss. Wow. Victory. That's the hardest mob in the area, by the way. Well, we got it beat at least. That's nice. Ooh, we've got an S level summon. Ho ho ho. Okay. Oh! Oh! It's Tamesia. Well, there you go. So we've exited the labyrinth here, guys. We've completed that whole part of the mission, which is good. So it's probably going to go send us now to fight the Hyper Fiend over here. And I most certainly think that's going to be the case. Yep, and this will unlock Dark Forest 3. However, for me to advance here, I need to complete AFK stage 85. Let's go push our AFK stages, because we haven't really done that since we enhanced our CC. This is going to be my final attempt, AFK area 200. Let's go with the normal lineup, and let's see if those little buffs we got are enough to clear it. Okay, we do get Carlisle through. Oh, oh, and Hewan gets the heal off. Oh, that's huge, actually. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be enough. Oh, no. Oh, Carlisle, come on, buddy. Yes, let's go. Oh, my word. That Hewan ult was so clutch. Well, victory is <laughs> there it is. Wow. What a clear. That's 200. Now let's see, can we auto battle the rest? Oh, that human ult looks good. Come on, Carlisle. Come on. Go. Go. And again with the heal. Bro, you better finish this. Oh, no. Arden. Don't you freaking kill me, dude. Oh, yes. The ult. It's enough. <laughs> Mate. Well, victory. Oh, that was so close. I mean, Carlisle's pog when he gets to go, but oh, he got melted. Oh, dear. They've got two Corrins. That's mad DPS. Either way, we've pushed to 204, guys. I'm pretty happy with that. That's some good, good grinding. We're just going to fight this Hyper Fiend, and then we're going to call it a day. Either way, wish us luck. See if we can beat this guy, or is this going to be a brick wall for us? I mean, they're doing a lot of damage. Aaron might get an ult off. Oh, Thorin's got an ult. And Cecia. Here comes Aaron. Oh, that's really good. That's so good. Great healing. And what a kill. Beautiful. Well, there it is, folks. We've advanced across. Got ourselves a new area. And I'm really happy with the progress we've made today. The team has performed brilliantly. We got a mythic on Cecia. Let's end today with a batch of 10 summons. We're guaranteed to get an S tier from here. In fact, we've got five tickets and it says only five more to go to get an S level. Now, normally I do these in batches of 10, but considering I am at some point going to have to iron out this five more to go, I think we're going to do it. Okay, we get an A tier. That's nice. Who's this going to be? Woo! <laughs> nice. Well, another OD. And here's our guaranteed S tier. Be good. Oh, let's go! Another one! What a great pull. In that case, let's make Aaron upgraded, ascend him, legendary plus, and now we can take him to mythic if we supplement this. Let's do this. Two mythics in one day. What a freaking journey. <laughs> That's so good. Wow. You just want one? Oh, look at all you jealous kids in chat. Okay, seeing as we just managed to get ourselves a mythic on Aaron, 
and we made a ton of progress in our AFK challenges. I'm going to buy the growth bundle, as that's going to get us 40 more summons. Heck no, with those gems and the gems I've already got, that's going to get us 50 more summons. So let's go ahead and buy this and see if those 50 summons can get us more S tiers. And there it is. Our purchase is successful. And is that going to give us anything fancy here? Nope. But loyal patronage, we are going to get some more level ups here. We get a cool hat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woohoo. Right, let's go then. Let's see if we can high roll. We've got 20 recruitment tickets here. Let's see if we can high roll an S tier. Let's get more. We're on a roll, boys. We got Mythic, Aeron. What possibly more could we get? Two more eighters. We get a Coco and a Kirin. Let's send it again. Come on, please. An S tier. It's A tiers. Come on, Coco and Odie. Just keep giving them to me. Oh, it's another Coco and another Kirin. Amazing. Right, we've got an epic recruitment as well. Let's blast that for 10. Come on. S tiers, S tiers, S tiers, S tiers. Give me loads. Come on. No! Ah, oh, three A tiers. Boo. We do get Coco, Laika, and Nero. Wait, there's an Ascension bundle for A tiers? Are you mad? Eight copies of Coco. <laughs> Did they have an Ascension bundle for everything? Right, we got 6,600 gems as well. Let's blast out some more recruits. Here we go. Three eighties. That's still pretty good. Another Coco, a Leica, and a Kirin. We just keep getting the same guys. I'm happy for that, man. And again? Come on, S tier. Fuck, okay! Four A tiers! Can a new soul be obtained? Okay, Nero, cool. Oh wow, two Nero's and two Viperians. Well, the game doesn't want me to get any more S tiers. We can definitely take Coco up to Legendary. Wow. Kieran can get to Epic Plus. I'm not surprised. Well, we've made a ton of progress today leveling people up, and those summons were absolutely fantastic. So, you know what I'm going to do as our very final thing today? We're going to go into the Dream Realm now we've got all these enhancements. Let's see if we can beat our damage from last time against the Skyclops. Now, I don't know how well Mythic Aeron's going to do, but I'm going to put him in anyway. Let's see how this goes. There's Odie's ult. Wow, Cecia summon in there. Coco with the buff. Now let's see how much damage we can do here. We're on 22% already. Oh, this is going great. Heaps of damage coming out. 30%. Let's keep it coming. Oh my word. 40%. Coco's buff coming out now as well. <laughs> Amazing. We're on 40% here and it looks like we're not holding up. 50%'s coming up soon. There it is. We're going to need some more heals. We're looking weak. Come on, guys. Let's go. Oh, great heal from Coco. Come on. Keep it in 60%. I think we might kill this thing. Oh, my word. 65. 20 seconds left. Come on. We're almost at 70. Oh, we're going. We're going. We're going. Oh, that laser beam was huge, but we're still alive. Come on. Let's get to 80 at least. Don't let me down. No. 79. Well, oh. Send it again. Run it back! Let's go! Okay, so far so good. Great ults coming off here. Coco's buff. Come on. Kill him. Let's go. Zoom in through the damage. We're on 40% already. This is going real nice. Melting the little summons. Oh, we're doing very well here. We're on 55%. Oh, come on, guys. Don't die. Oh, Coco's heal. Perfect. Let's go. We're on a massive amount of damage here. Come on. 65. We're definitely going to break 70. Can we get to 80? Surely we can get to 80. Come on, man. 75. 76. 77. 78. 79. Come on. There it is! 80%! We might kill this thing! 85! 
Oh my word. That. Well, that was clean. 1.2 million damage. Rank 109. What a load of damage that was. Now, I don't think with those buffs we're going to clear this AFK stage. But we might as well try. Heck, I think... Oh no, we've got Mythic Air on since then. Uh, yeah, I think we are going to clear this. Here comes his ult. Oh yeah. Crazy damage. What a difference. Literally, moments ago we tried this. I say moments. Before we got the air on, we tried this. <laughs> so I guess we'll just let this one play out. And we'll see how far we go to close it off for today. Next up, we got stage 213. This is going to look like an easy one. A little bit of a slower team here. As soon as our ults pop off, they are going to get melted. Oh, there we go. I love how Lyca went first here. That's going to result in some mad combos. Huge damage. You and keeping us alive here. Come on, we can do this. There it is. Granny's gone. And so's the Lucius. That'll do it. Brilliant. Oh, come on, Carlisle. You can win it, dude. I think he's got this. What a chad. Next, here we go. Come on. Can we keep this coming? We're on stage 215 now. This one's probably going to be difficult. Oh, yeah, they're melting us. Oh, come on, Carlisle. On your own, though, it's going to be tricky. No way. We got melted. Well, what a great place to end here by clearing AFK stage 214. So all we need to do now is reach resonance level 80, and we've completed the next growth stage. I'm loving how much progress we're making. This is ridiculous. If you want to catch more stuff from our AFK journey content, hit that subscribe button as this series will be continuing as I grind my way through the game and experience everything it has to offer. I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Have an amazing week and happy idling. <laughs>